Hello, I'm Landon Norris, and welcome to The Art of Data. Hi, I'm Daniel Ricciardo, Formula One driver. Here at the McLaren Technology Center, there is a whole team who work both on and off the track, helping me to push the car to the limit. Today, we are going back to basics to discover how Splunk helps us go faster. We'll feature the wider team and of course, yours truly. Let's get stuck in. I'm Jessica Tompkins. I'm a technical analyst at McLaren Racing. So I work with our technical partners to implement software and hardware across the team, ultimately to optimise processes and help the team go faster. My first day at McLaren was just over a year ago now. I remember walking in, seeing the big building and all the shiny cars. It was almost like a dream come true. Um, sounds cheesy, but true for most of us here that have been interested in racing since we were little. I'm Cédric Michel Gorgian, I'm a car performance engineer, and my role involves packing the mostly the brakes and damper specification for both cars. So I started watching Formula One as a teenager. So watching Formula One, I've always wanted to be one of those guys talking to the drivers, so that, that, that's been the main motivation for me. Yep, so I'm Randy Singh. Uh, my job title is Director of Strategy and Sporting, and that means I look after the sporting and strategy teams, which is uh, from things like making decisions at split seconds during the races, all the way up to like helping set the rules for future years. I remember watching the sort of 2005 era where McLaren had by far the quickest car. Not the most reliable at the time, but I remember watching Kimi win lots of races back then. And actually, unlike most people who work in Formula One, I got into it because of the strategy and the maths behind it rather than the cars themselves. Hi, my name is Sean Hardacre and I'm a technical analyst at McLaren Racing. From the learnings we've taken from the eSports project, um, we've kind of started developing and uh, looking into doing a similar dashboard, but for Paddock Club, F1. Um, so the viewpoint is, is that they will ingest the live data from the F1 races and it will present a similar dashboard to the members in Paddock Club that are attending. Splunk enables us to have live data as quickly as possible from the cars. We can then stay in tune with the driver, with what it's doing, with what the balance is doing, with how the tires are degrading, uh, and then enables us to then make quick decisions. So as Director of Strategy and Sporting, uh, the whole role is completely impossible without data and also not only having access to data but being able to understand what it means, which data to look at at any given time. So we work across the world from Woking to Australia sometimes. We have many different data streams. It's what I will spend most of my hours on the race week. It's going through data with the engineers, it's talking about it. Even when I'm driving the car, I'll give feedback to the team and then they're immediately looking at data and trying to understand, you know, put my words into meaning. That's how it is because everything in F1 is it's down to the 10th, if not hundredth of seconds, so very precise. So I'm, I'm Tom Stallard, I'm Daniel Ricardo's race engineer. All of the driver coaching, how he set up his car, and then I'm the guy that talks to him on the radio during the race. As a race engineer, my job is entirely based on data. So without Splunk, then it would be very, very difficult. Obviously in Formula One, you can't keep up with the car. So you can't really see what's going on apart from by looking at the data from the car. So all of the coaching we do, all of figuring out how to set up the car, all of the tuning is based entirely in data. So in terms of explaining data in Formula One, you've got this car that's going around with hundreds of sensors on it. For us, that develops over 100,000 data points, and we can use those data points to create further virtual sensors, which is really interesting for us as a team. So over a race weekend, we capture 1.5 terabytes of data. There's so many things moving around at such high speeds that we don't actually know what would be happening on the car. And actually, that driver is going around a track that can be five kilometers in length, if not longer. And we're talking about hundreds of a second to try and make an improvement, maybe gain a place in qualifying and so on. So really, it's, it's really a big data problem. And we have a car at the end of it that's whizzing around a track that we're trying to make go quicker by 0.01 of a second. I see it more as a data problem with a car and a driver attached to it. I think driving a track now without having access to any data from Splunk would be pretty foreign. I think we could all still get it done, but not to, not even close to the level we're operating at. 
As a technical analyst, there's many key areas where we've got to interpret data, whether that's live from the track or back in the office at MTC. It's really important for us to be able to see that in a software that's user-friendly. I lean towards looking after lots of data at McLaren Racing. As part of that, I get to use Splunk, and that helps us monitor live data over a race weekend. In F1, data is pretty much everything. It helps us develop the car, make changes with the settings, and ultimately find performance.